Let's talk about feedback today, my friend. Uh, when we talk about feedback, maybe you think about somebody give you some comments uh, for improvement. And normally we talk about we need to give other people feedback in really constructive ways, which means that we want to make them feel that, oh, we support them to be better, not like to make them feel that they are not good, but make them feel that they can be better and they can do something about it and we give them even how to do it. And also important when we give feedback, we need also learn how to receive feedback constructively. And today we want to talk about that. And the reason I do this video because recently I got a lot of feedback and especially today when I make this video, I got a feedback from a senior person, a lady, and I will respect to her when she shared with me, she, she thought about what I had been doing and she wanted me to make it even clear in the way I communicate and I really appreciated her because I also heard it from my team so yeah, thank you everyone to give me feedback and I would like to share with you that when you receive feedback it's very important to know how to receive it in a constructive way otherwise make maybe you want to feel like confident and i see it a lot in my clients i see a lot of my clients fear of judgment and it comes from the time when they receive feedback and somehow they just think about it on their own mind in their own mind and they just understand in their own way and they just think they are not good and if you have moment, you receive feedback for somebody and it make you feel down and make you feel scared of receiving feedback or make you feel scared of sharing what you think because you think other people are going to judge you, then it's the time for you to practice the receiving feedback constructively with me. And the first step we want to do, when somebody give us feedback, the first principle don't take it personally. So for example, after you're giving a speech, somebody say, I don't really get that point. And if you keep thinking about that, you took it personally, you think that you are not good, and you start feeling like, oh, I'm not good, and you started giving yourself an identity, that is so dangerous. Not because you are not good, but the performance during that time is not effective yet. So not because you are a person, but the behaviors, it's not you, you can change. So for example, today I got the feedback from the lady. I could think that I am that person, but actually just because of my behaviors. And if I really want to change it, I change it. And it takes time, but it means that it can be changed. So if you have had a time when you heard somebody say something and you take it personal, you think that it's you, no, it's not you, but it's the behavior. So my friend, first step. Oh, this is this, this kind of picture. You want to see the command to reflect your behaviors, not your identity. Okay, behavior. Not identity, I think, I mean, I, identity. Okay. Not because you are that person, but your behavior at that moment. Oh my friend, I keep repeating, hopefully it goes to your mind. And the second idea when you receive comment from somebody, you want to receive it constructively, I really want you to ask yourself, what can I learn from that? What can I learn? from that okay what can i do from that wow this one is so powerful because you now you become an observer is this somehow like your behavior the thing that people give you comment maybe you didn't have good eye contact when you give a speech and then you will look at it and you say what can i learn from that comment how can i be better you ask yourself, what can you learn from that? And when you ask yourself that, you step out of that situation, you become an observer, a learner, so you feel like less stressed out because you're a learner. So, learner always learns better. So, you want to ask yourself, what can I learn from that? 
and after that you may want to ask the person can you tell, tell me more about it you want to ask the, the why okay. what do you think that way maybe she say like oh i didn't see that you said that clearly and said oh, can you tell me more about that ah, what did make you not feel clear and then you ask the question to understand more and then you even ask them can you tell me about what should i do yeah so ask the person give us a comment the solution sometimes can be a great way because it make you out of the thinking that you are not good and now you become a learner and you become a person who are able to receive the feedback and you respect them and make sure my friend when you receive any comment or feedback you want to also ask the people you chose the mentors the people who chose your ability and not everyone you don't need to ask everyone for feedback you want to ask the people who are already successful in the journey you want to ask the people who have positive mindset you want to ask the people who believe in your ability your unlimited power and these people they always look in your best always look in your best identity not your current behaviors they know you can be better they know the best person the best identity can be unleashed as long as you keep improving upon it my friend so believe and trust in yourself and ask the right person and make sure whenever you hear any feedback don't take it personally no these things only the performance at that moment and if you really want to change it you can change it we practice every single day and ask yourself what can you learn from it write it down and put it in action and ask the person tell you more about why they give the comment and even the solution and make sure you check it with the people that you trust and believe in you and with that you don't stop taking action you don't stop improving you don't stop living loving and giving every single moment of life